Hello everybody and welcome back to more Atom RPG. So, um, we just got a quest from this lovely gentleman to go and get him some supplies, right? So, we got, yeah, the fisherman on the ice of the village is asking me to bring him a bottle of some pre-war hard liquor. Um, we also have the five toadstools for Katya from the tavern so we can also do that quest there is another bug down here but you know what I don't think we actually have to do that right now we do have five totals just gonna confirm that again just to make sure and then we can go inside and the tavern is right here and uh, that's where we're going um, unfortunately as you can hear I'm still sick um, so yeah, my voice is still a bit, uh, bit of suffering, but I should be fine soon, hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed and stuff like that, because I did have to not stream the day, so that really sucks, but hopefully it'll all get better soon. So, there's Katya again. How's the gathering going? Got something for me? Yes, I have them. Here you go. Thanks a lot for your help. Uh, you give the mushrooms to the girl. She inspects all mushrooms. Mush mushroom? Mushrooms? The mushrooms. The mushrooms to see if there are any worms in them. She's quite happy with the results and smiles at you. Um, so, I could try to get something out of there. Can I barter with her? Yes, I can. Um, she's got... Okay. Krasnaya Moskva perfume. Is that like uh, that beautiful Moscow or something like that? A famous uh, Soviet Union brand of cologne made in the Novaya Zaya factory contains more than 60 components. The official description reads a thin, warm, noble aroma with a hint of a fleur de rouge. Okay. Interesting. Um, let's try to. Let's try the speechcraft thingy. Because why not? Um. Oh, this is fine and dandy, but I'm oh so tired. This wasn't easy. I almost lost my life. Failure. Ah, dang it. It's creepy out there. Sorry, I would have had you pay more, but I have no money. I understand. Is that the case? What's up with the village head? Sure thing. I'll write a note to Comrade Kovalev right now, saying that I recommend you for hire. Go give it to him personally. He says I'm sure he wants to talk to you. All right. He lives to the left of the bar entrance. Good luck, things. I better go. So that is actually this dude then, right? Wait, did you just say I feel like having a stool? Oh, I can barter with you. Do you have any food for me? You've got coffee. Ooh. Biscuits. Oh, how much are the biscuits? 19 rubles. That's some expensive biscuits. Damn. Um, I can give you some waste paper. And... That? One of these, maybe? And you give me some rubles? Uh, wait. Oh no, wait. I'm offering only 10. Uh, done. Oh. Okay. Oh, that was both of them. Oh, that was both of them. Um, if I take that back. I give you nails. There we go. I think that's okay. Because I need to eat something. Let's trade. Because I really need to eat something. We are very, very hungry, actually. There we go. Wait. Oh. Oh no, the number going up is us getting. Oh no, I, f I, f I misunderstood how that works. So we need to keep our hunger at zero, huh? Oh. Well, I misunderstood that then. So I guess we didn't actually need it. So we're talking to you again. Yes, yes, yes. What do you want? I got this letter of recommendation at the tavern. There you go. Let me take a look at the note. Hand over the note. 
Comrade Kabalev takes your note and quickly reads it. You notice that he holds it very close to his eyes. It seems like the vision of this strong old man isn't as good as it was in his prime. Seems that Katya Ratchenko believes you can be trusted. Maybe so. In any case, you made an impression. And this is a uh, recommendation enough? Uh, you notice real warmth in the head's voice when he talks about Katya from the tavern. His tone is almost fatherly. Wait silently. The head thoughtful, uh, thoughtfully cracks his knuckles. After that, he raises his gaze to you, looking as if he's reached a conclusion. Maybe I have a job for you after all. You probably already heard about the bandit gang that terrorizes our village. Each month, they come to take our supplies away from us. If we don't pay up, they rob and kill our people. We tried fighting them, but to no avail. But now, looking at your own honest face, I've come up with a little plan. The head lowers his gaze again. It's hard uh, for you to read him. He's either indecisive or just trying to find the right words. I'm, I'm listening. The thing is, our village probably has a snitch living in it. A traitor, a rat. I'm sure about this. Someone made a pact with the bandits and tells them everything that's going on around here. Oh boy, okay. But with that said, I can't imagine who that is. And the bastard himself knows me and the other villagers too well to get caught. When we hired mercenaries to protect us, the bandits already knew about it. And each time we trade for a bit of money, they attack. Oh. Ah, uh, there you are. You're new here. Your face is still unfamiliar. You can earn his trust easily. Or at least try to do it. Learn who this derpig is and tell me. An investigation? Interesting. He walks up to us. Do you agree or do you decline? Say it straight. All right, where to start? Where do you start? Well, let me tell you who in the village I do not suspect. For one, I trust my fighting man. Jan and Petya on the south and north gates, respectively. They would not work for me otherwise. Trader Yashin may be a suspect. He is new in town, and he obviously has a shady part, but he does so much for the village. He built a shop with his own money, he pays taxes, and he suffers from the bandits like everyone else. The Tamikuyan or Semyon, I trust like I would trust myself. We built this village together, you know. They're tr good people, tested by time and loyal. Comrade Grankin, the village superintendent on the island is a cowardly, shifty person. But no, he is too cowardly. He would never work with the bandits. It's much more profitable for him to keep his post in the village, and the bandits have no respect for him. And would probably shoot him for laughs if he tried to talk to them. Katya and Vasnya, uh, Vasya Rachenko, the owners of the tar tavern, have no reason to be snitches. They would never do something like that. And the others, I just don't know about the rest. More clues? I suspect that the traitor is a man, not too old, a person that travels from time to time, but is ultimately lazy. The head wrinkles his nose. Those criminal types, they abhor honest labor. They think that only the low people must work, where they act like some aristocra uh, aristocracy. I better start investigating then. All right, I see. See how that is. Um, let's see if we can trade with him again. Um, I'd like to see your wares. What actually, what do we need? I'm just looking around, sorry. Um, sorry about that. Uh, what do I need for, okay, I need either a spoon or a fork for a shiv. So I would like something like that if you possibly have. Um, you do not, you have a pipe rifle, but we're not very good at that sort of stuff. So that kind of sucks. Um, well, I guess not. This is the dude in the tavern, maybe. I, I can't remember who I sold my cutlery to. Uh, can I see the menu, please? There we go. That's, I sold it to you. Do you want both? I kind of want both. Okay, pre-war port wine. Beer. Uh, not actually port. It's fortified, fortified wine. So I guess this is not white heart liquor. Pre-war vodka. Vodka! Back in the day, it was only for export and tourists. That's what we want. Not just one. Thank you very much. Because I think that's what the other dude wants. Let's sell him. 
all of our rubles apparently. And not the book receipt, we need that. God. Don't really have anything. I guess I guess pyramid. Because that's worth a lot. And then one of these. That is expensive. Trade. Gotta do that though. Gotta learn how to gotta learn how to fish. Oh god. Okay, you know what? I normally I don't like to be cheeky cheat. Well, sometimes I do, but but I'm gonna cause cause you can fail crafting in this, so I'm gonna save before we craft. But we made a shiv, so it's all well in the world. We actually made a shiv, and I am oh I need to put that. I need to. It's so weird that you need to actually take it, and put it in there. But there we go. We made a shiv. It's just not necessarily um. It's, it's just good to have a shiv, because it uses less action points than the brick. It doesn't necessarily do more damage. I want to uh, avoid that if possible, so I can use that for later, when, after he teaches me how to make the bait. And then I can kill it. But yeah, uh, a shiv just um, uses less action points. So it, ultimately, I can do more damage in a round when we, if we, if we hit rather than miss. Uh, you were asking for some liquor, weren't you? Look, I want some pre-war uh, pre vodka. I don't care if it's cheap or expensive. can even be stronger than vodka, but it's gotta be pre-war. Here's some vodka. There you go. You hand the bottle to the fisherman. He quickly takes it from you, quickly checks the label out, and puts the bottle into his bag. Listen, this vodka is really good. Good enough to be exported, and now it'll keep me company and treat my radiation sickness if I get unlucky. You treat radiation sickness with vodka. I don't think that's quite how it works. Um, but okay, you've held up your end of the deal. It's now it's my turn. Listen to me and pay, pay attention. Hear him out. <clears throat> Sorry, every once in a while I do have to take a sip of my, my hot beverage. So my voice keeps going. So bear with me. Um... Uh, the fisherman explains to you how to feed stress the bodies of giant ants, wasps, and spiders. Every critter has its own nuances, but all can be dismembered even without a knife. Even a sharp stone would do. You also learn that the favorite food of the local fishes are anti-spit glands, wasp legs, and spider brains. The world is surely a marvelous place. Also, that stuff can be sold. The ways are home to many fools that like uh, hanging wasp legs in their shacks to show off their hunting skills. It's particularly funny because even common wasps are much more dangerous than those genetic mistakes. But who cares? An item that costs money is worth selling, right? Thanks for all the knowledge. I'm going to go and think on what I learned here. <clears throat> you have gained the ability entomologist. Sweet! So does that actually show up, in my, show up in my thingy here now? Yeah, it does. You now look have parts of the giant mutants such as Myrmix, Scolias, and Shelovitz. Cool! That's progress. I like it. Alright, let's do it. Hello there, I would like to harvest you for your parts. Um, so we'll go here, and that stab. Ice hit. And then we failed. Now we'll move a away a little bit. Please miss again. Ooh, nice. Let's see. Can we do this, this round? Yeah. What, it broke again! God, our shifts suck! Okay, we're not gonna use the shifts anymore for hunting. Spider brain. Spider brain, spider brain. Helps the spider think about things. I don't know. It's disgusting to the touch, but the fish seem to love it for whatever re reason. Alright. To that at least. Can I make another shiv? No, I cannot, because I do not have any thingies. Oh, God. I don't have um uh, a thingy. In this case, is a Electrical tape, because I sold that. Okay, so where can we actually, like, go? I think we should just leave for now. Well, we have to do the, th the quest here um, to figure out who's the spy. So we have the whereabouts stuff. Um, we have to go to Krasnoznamini to find Fido. Uh, and we have to get... The copy of the Lord of the Rings, and then we gotta go find Bunker 317, and then we have to find the rat. So, I suppose we'll work on that. 
Um, yeah, we'll, we'll play we'll play a little bit of a rat catcher, I suppose. Ooh, have I looted this? Probably have, didn't I? No. Oh, damn it! I didn't have to buy the. Ah, I didn't have to buy the thingy after all. The cutlery. Oh well. An old man in a skull cap does what he usually does. He opens and closes his toothless mouth, whistling some forgotten melody. Upon seeing you, he squints his eye. He squints his eyes at you. What do you have? Rubles, cucumber brine, and a medal. Next, hello there. Want to speak about something? Just getting to know the locals. But oh, the locals. Well, here I am, a local through and through. Haha. <laughs> Did they send you to help me out, Johnny? Um, not really. But what do you need help with? Ashamed to ask the lady, I have this little corn patch at the back of my house. I picked the corn myself, but I'm just too old now. My back is killing me. What harvest could I pick like that? Oh, I see. Fine old man, I'm gonna do it. Alright. I will I will grab some corn. I can do that quite easily actually. So we're just gonna go grab all of this. There we are. That was rather easy i suppose that's all there is though right back here because i don't really see anything oh no what's this oh is that a spade oh it's a shovel yeah it is it is a shovel <gasps> we can go gr we can technically go grave robbing now we shan't but we could uh i have visited your corn uh your corn old man a real worker you are you've really helped out the guy feels his pockets look his eyes over, afraid to see with despair in his eyes. It's just that I don't have any money to pay you. What a shame. I was a hunter back, be, sh be sure, you know. And I always had the money, sh But now what a shame. Shame on you, old man. Um, It's okay. It's okay. Happy to help. The old man doesn't listen to you. Finally, a smile comes to his face and he slaps his forehead. What an old fool I am. I was a hunter, wasn't I? I said it myself and didn't get it. Wait here, little lady. The old man gets on his knees and starts searching under his rickety bed. Finally, he pulls out his old shotgun. With a smile, he hands it to you. Here, I don't really need it anymore. Just to scare away the crowds, I suppose. But you might have found it useful. That's a, just what I needed, actually. Yeah, thank you. I will take you a, a rifle. Thank you. You take the gun of the old man's hands and look, so, uh, look it over with interest. It's an old hunting carbine. On its wooden stock is an engraving. A heart pierced by an arrow. Nice. So we technically got our first rifle. Um, ooh, we could use the shovel. So wait, you do two to four. Melee, four decks, three of the melee weapons. Three to eight. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna equip that. We're gonna equip a shovel. And we've got an old hunting rifle. I do not think... Yeah, we don't have any ammo for it at the moment. What do we? No, we do. We actually do. Reload. Single shot. Aimed. Single shot. Okay, cool. Nice. And we've got a shovel. Alright. Um, got, got that, I suppose. That's quite nice. Um, let's see. I don't think we've been in here, have we? No, we have not. Um, excuse me, but I would like to loot your um cupboard. Thank you. Find a babush babushka sh scarf. Um, progress usually among the people. Okay, but I don't actually wear. I can. I could technically wear it, but um, that shows up in a lot of crafting recipes. So I suppose we'll keep it for now more stuff that I can take. Hello, who are you? Um, before you send an old woman leaning on a cane. She's wearing a black dress and a black headscarf. Okay. Hello, I want you to uh, want your thoughts on the local gangsters. The old woman looks over you with a piercing glance. She seems very calm if you uh, ignore her white knuckles tightened around the cane. They killed my husband, you know, long lady. They aren't my favorite people. The woman's voice is completely calm, although you see that under the roots of her stability lies nothing but an en uh, all-engulfing hatred. The downpour in the middle of the desert is more likely than this woman working for the bandits. I'm so very sorry. Can I ask you more questions? Uh, heard any rumors? I prefer not to know. 
because in the good old days it wasn't the same at all. My late husband and I received incredible beautiful china and silverware as our wedding gift. Young lady, it was astonishing. But now you see, beautiful things have no value. Okay. Well, better go, I suppose. Um, more people to talk to. Um, gotta do the interrogation. So it's not gonna be the doctor. Who are you? Not the trader. Um, a shortish woman with a kindly face. I want your thoughts on the local gangsters. The woman puts her hand on her mouth and looks around fearfully. It seems the very topic scares her. Those banners are terrible people. I'm scared for my husband the most. He's a proud man. He's not accustomed to being disgraced. Those bastards, they shake every coin they can out of us. Everything they do it is like a knife in the heart to him. They are terrible. Those guns they have, they're not afraid to use them either. For them, killing a man is easy. It's nothing to them. And I'm afraid that my husband will do something stupid one of these days and gets himself killed. It scares me so much. Um... The woman sadly shakes her head and wipes her tears when you're not looking. Doesn't let, seem like she's a liar. She really cares for a man and for the village. But, uh, got rubles and water, right? Clothes, everything will be alright. Thanks for sharing your opinion with me. Um, let's see. I don't think there's anything over here with the, with the animals. As the doctor. Oh, huh, hello, who are you? Before you sends a tough, hard-looking man aged around 45. He's wearing an old sunburnt shirt with short sleeves and hardy work pants. It's hard to notice a wild black moustache. Uh, it's hard not to notice a wild black moustache on his strict face. I'd like to know your opinion on the local bandits. The man clenches his large fists. The whites of his eyes go bloodshot. He was watch as his whole body shakes with a wave of poorly concealed anger. Goddamn lawless jackals is what my opinion is. Instead of working like decent people, they rob our village and peaceful tra travelers. If only we had the strength, we'd, we'd show them. We'd show them all. He slowly calms himself, but still shakes his fists. Even the mere existence of the bandit seems to challenge some, sort of, uh, some of his personal beliefs. He looks sincere in his anger. A man such as this would rather die than cooperate with bandits. Oh, you've got a round. And a biscuit. Oh, dude. Mm, I want it. I really want it. We could trade the babushka scarf. Oh yes, yes, yes. That is that is super, super worth it. Um, to get another round for the gun. Okay, let's go in here. We've talked to her. We've talked to him. I guess this is what's left. Right? Uh, you there. Um, this 50-year-old man looks like he's busy. He quickly lifts his head to see who came in. Upon, upon seeing you, gives a small nod. Hello there, comrade. Uh, wanna ask a couple of questions? Okay, I can't ask him about the bandits. And you there? Uh, before you th stands a thin, middle-aged man with a bony complexion. I want your thoughts on the local bandits. The man shrugs his shoulders for no reason and looks down. Suddenly you feel like he's older than he appears. Uh, when he finally starts talking, his voice trembles. Those people are messed up. They are vampires. They suck the life from our village and the lands beyond. I despise them. But you know, while me and my wife were traveling, we saw such brutality that those local bandits seem innocent in comparison. He looks like a broken man, a quiet, sad former member of the intelligentsia. But somewhere inside this timid man, uh, you sense a strong moral core. His morals are unshakable, and you can't imagine you betrayed to work with the bandits. Lantern battery and some rubles, okay. Uh forgive me, because I need to depart. Oh, toilet paper. Toilet oh shit, there's stuff here. I d I didn't you didn't even see that one. Bottles. Empty bottles. Um, need to help some container. Ugh. Uh, bottle with water, water bottle, empty bottle. Go, got that one. And another one. And another one. I think we have more. Oh, the water bottles. I don't know why I'm making a water. I'm, I'm just making a water bottle song up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Gotta get all the waters. And then we'll have the shovel. I hope the shovel can't break. Because that would really suck. But I don't think it can break. 
Okay, that is all of that, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> all right, let's go in here, I suppose. But there is nobody in here. Who the hell? Because it's not the old man. Can I ask him about his opinion? No. Who the... I... I... I feel like I've... Oh, have I talked to you? Oh, it's him, isn't it? Uh, my savior. How are you feeling? Much better. Let me ask you something. No, no, I can't. Ah, dang it. Okay, it's not him. Who are you? At the bar. Uh, oh, he's... Oh, that's Alexander. Alexander. We've talked to him before. It's also not him. You? Can I ask you about the bandits? Nope. I don't know. I don't know who then. Cause I don't. Cause he said none of these are. Hi. How are things? He's probably tired of him better. I would love to relax. Um, it's my third straight day on duty. Can I help? All right. You know, it would be nice of you. Uh, it would be mighty nice of you to get me some beer from the tavern. Um, not allowed to drink on duty. Sure, I'll help you out. I'll try to be stealthy about it. Drinking while on duty, dude. That's, uh... Uh, hang on, man. Don't die of the... That's a bit sketchy, my friend. Drinking while on duty is mighty sketchy. And rather dangerous. Alright, um... I'd like to have a drink with you. Well, actually not with you. How about beer smells sour and bitter? One. Just one, please. Fourteen rubles. Oh, God. What am I going to... Oh, God. What am I going to sell you? What am I going to sell you? I could sell him some toilet paper, I suppose. I don't need that. I don't need that. Would you like... So two bottles of water? Maybe? No, not all of them. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, uh, 14 and 14. There we go. Uh, trade. Alright, uh, better go. Okay, so we traded, we traded two bottles of water, toilet paper, for some beer. I mean, some people apparently really need their beer. Hi. Uh, did you get the beer? I did. Here, there you go. The guard eagerly takes the bottle out of your hands and starts drinking straight from the bottle. He takes several mighty gulps, lets out a happy quack, a quack, a quack, and adds the rest of the beer. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Here's three rubles. I just paid 14 for this beer, and you give me three? Jesus, dude, you sh you're a cheapskate. You're a real cheapskate. You know that? You really, truly are. Check it. Oh my god, six more, six more, more experience points. Really, really. Um, I don't know. I don't know who. Oh, maybe the dude out here. Wait, where was he? Was he here? No, he was over. Oh, oh, can I dig this? Oh, I do have a shovel now. I might be able to dig this. I don't know about the old corpses. I don't think they'll suddenly magically have stuff. If it looks good, but first you need to plant the crops. Crops. Do I have anything? Herbal mix? I don't. I wonder if I can actually plant something there. That'd be cool. No. Okay. The corpses don't magically suddenly have something in them. Yeah, let's talk to him. Let's talk to him and see what he's got. Because he was very nice, but maybe he has something to say about them. Uh... I want to play some craps. How can we play without dice? In this case, I want to ask you some questions. No. No. No, 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 no. Mm. I am not sure who we could ask then. Because haven't we... We have talked to everybody but Jan, basically. And he was excluded from the... From the mayor thingy. I was waiting for you to go that much. Hi. Um, just looking around, chatting with the populace and all that. Have a free minute for some chit chat? Sure. 
let's change the topic. You're looking at me, so uh, um, the young man smirks and his cheeks get a rosy tint. How else should I look? I've been standing here for all my conscious life, like a dog on a chain. And then a beautiful girl like you comes over. Okay, you're weird. The man, man turns towards a small bush of morning glory and plucks one tiny blue flower. Ta-da! Uh, that's really uh, sweet, thanks. Oh, good. Oh, you got me some that's herbal mix. Nice. Uh, I better leave now. Yeah, I'll never come back. You're creepy. Bye. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Because... We've, we've like literally talked to everybody, have I oh stop moving, stop moving. Um, we've been to all the houses. Um, we've been literally to all the houses and talked to everybody. Unless I've missed somebody, but who? Didn't I talk to everybody? Hmm. Hmm. I am. Um, talk to. Did we talk to you, actually? No, we did talk to you. The, we talked to the Babushka. I'd like to think what you know about the local bandits. She noticed me shrugs. Her gaze becomes suspicious as she steps away from you just in case. I hate them. The damage brought to society because it's tolerated. Thieves can't even be measured. Just imagine how many young people these criminals have infected with their dangerous ideas and lifestyles. A spark of hate burns in the woman's eyes. Also, her spe speech is very bookish. She seems totally serious about what she says. Um, okay. Calm down. Damn it. Who the hell is working for the... Maybe we do have to talk to the doctor. I guess we'll ask him. Maybe I need your help. I wanted to ask you some questions. No. We've talked to you. Who the bloody hell is it then that we need to talk to? I'm very confused. Do you have anything new to say to you? I wanted to talk. Can you tell me about Katya Rachenko? Um, okay. He seems to warm up, but his gaze quickly turns suspicious. The strict old man takes a step back and squints his eyes at you. Why Why are you asking? Your voice changed. Uh, Comrade Kovacs shifts as he hears your words. He then pouts, begins talking in an academic manner. <clears throat> I was a good friend of her parents back before the war, back before she was born. She grew up with our village, and she is very close to it. Same kind of heart, same sad look. She's like a daughter. That's from her mother and father. You're not telling me something. Come on. Damn it. Don't have any more questions. We're not good enough for that. I am suspecting that she is actually his his daughter. I can wait. I better go to sleep. Right, Katya. Uh, questions. Hmm. Well, there's so many mushrooms. I don't know. I don't. Okay. Um, yeah, so we'll have to continue figuring out this mystery, I guess, next time. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Have a good one. Bye.